Hi everyone, a uh, short video today. Um, today I got Bob some Melifix. Uh, this is from Walmart, just because we were shopping there today. Where my mom was. Uh, and I picked that up, because today's Sunday and PetSmart closes, so I just went to Walmart, which is like right next to it. Um, so I got that for him, be just because he, uh, I don't know if I showed you guys before, but... He has a little gill problem, it looks like. See, he has a little like, blister on his gill and a little bit of a, like, you know, it could be something, you know, it's kind of whitish, so I thought Malefix might fix it up. Also, uh, I noticed with Bob, which this, you, you know, you might think I'm crazy here, but I think he likes to observe what's going on, like, in my bedroom and stuff, um, and what I'm doing, because... Here, I'll show you. Oops, you're not, you're not gonna be able to see. Oopsie. Sorry, Bob. But, uh, see, the rock is in the front. He's smushed up here. But yet, yeah, I see him up here all the time. I almost never see him back here. Never. Or almost never, I mean, sometimes. But, uh, which that kind of shows that. Here, I'll put it back. Sorry, Bob. That kind of shows how he likes to, like, watch what's going on. He likes to watch the TV. Sounds weird, I know, but it's true. Uh, he likes to watch the TV. Just, you know, relatively, you know, what's going on. Uh, you know, if I'm watching him, he watches me back. He, he waits for food, I'm guessing. Other stuff like that. Which is kind of cool to think that, like, you know, he pays attention. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but the Melifix should help, hopefully. I'm just going to add, like, uh, a small, like, capful. Because it said, like, one tablespoon per, um, ten gallons. So I add, like, uh, a few drops, um, you know, maybe, like, half a capful. Uh, I'm going to be adding that every day for now, from now on. Uh, they said do that for seven days, and he should be kind of healed. And if he's not healed, it, and I mean, it must be some other thing. Uh, I mean, if he if he doesn't seem to be affected by it, which now he's eating. It smells awful. That stuff. It really it smells weird. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks. Um, oh, a few more things. Uh, the last uh, video I made about Bob, where uh, I was saying I, w I would add some rams to the tank, uh, which is kind of risky, and I'm still debating on whether to do it or not. I'm, I really think I'm probably just not going to do anything, uh, just because, I mean, they're, they're just fine breeding in the other tank. And instead of getting uh, the rams, I want to get a bunch of quarries. I want to get um, a big. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to push toward like a a big tank, like the, as big as I can go. Uh, and there's one. Yeah, sorry, I can't. I, I'm limited to where I can go because it's plugged in. Um, that's as far as I can go. But it's 20 inches, which. Right here extends that far out, and so but it's only 10 inches wide, which I really don't think that's a. Uh, I don't really think that's a, a big deal, but I'd like it to be wired wider, uh, and it's 20 inches uh, that way and 20 inches tall. Uh, I can order off PetSmart.com for 120 bucks, I think. Um, 18 gallon. It comes with everything. I think. It, I know it comes with a light, and I know it comes with a filter. Um, I think the filter is actually also a bio wheel, or uh, I just that's what I found off one of the reviews. Maybe they just used one, uh, which is nice. Um, it doesn't. I don't think it comes with a heater. It might. If it does, it's a bonus. And if it doesn't, I'll just use uh, 
the 20 gallon heater uh, and if it doesn't come with the filter I'll just use the top thin 20, 20 gallon filter until I get enough money uh, but I mean it, it should because 120 bucks isn't is a lot of money for an 18 gallon tank uh, I mean I got the 37 gallon for I think 200 so 120 bucks 200 uh, you know I could double the tank size for only 80 bucks more anyway uh, <laughs> <clears throat> said this would be a short video but it might not I'm planning on getting like 10 or even maybe 12 quarry catfish uh, panda quarries and I want to make it white sand and I want them to be a huge school I love them they are adorable panda quarries uh, they're expensive though uh, I think they're like five dollars a fish so 20 yeah I mean, no, I don't want 20. I want like 10. So, 50 bucks spent on quarries, maybe. Maybe even 60. <laughs> Which is a lot of money to spend on quarries, but uh, I might just add like four at a time, maybe. Um, and see. Maybe I don't even want 10. But anyway, uh, and maybe some Tetras, too. To, uh, I was planning on getting, or Rasboras, maybe. Uh, let me know on that. I might get uh, Neon Tetras, or Cardinal Tetras, or. Um, some kind of rasbora maybe, or, um, no barbs, I don't want barbs, I don't want any nipping fin fish, but, uh, so that's my plan so far, it might not be that exact tank, uh, you can look it up on PetSmart.com, it's some kind of a thing, I forget what company it's from, but it's 18 gallons, and it's, uh, 20 inches by 20 inches by 10 inches, I really like that, um, I, I, I yeah, I like it. <laughs> Um, and 18 gallons is enough to fit a lot of fish. I mean, I could fit, uh, I'm thinking probably 15 quarries and bob would fit in that tank just fine, uh, without overstocking it, as long as I added, uh, a decent amount of plants, which I probably will. Um, but I think I'll just add 12, and then, um, like a little school of, like, six neon tetras, maybe. Uh, I was going to get it all quarries, <laughs> but then there would be no action in the middle of the tank. Because Bob likes to hang out at the bottom, what I've noticed, or the top. He doesn't really swim in the middle. Um, and what I might do, and this, it, I don't know, I'm not sure. Uh, I might move the uh, Romino's Tetra in there. Um... To, uh, to get enough space for possibly another angelfish in the other tank. Possibly. I really want more angelfish, but I, yeah, I don't want to overstock my tanks. I don't want to do that. Um, that's what I'm really trying to keep myself from doing, uh, just because it, I know if I, if I get a ton of fish for Bob, uh, then at some point I don't want all those fish. I'm probably going to end up moving some to the 37 gallon. Then, you know, the 37 gallon is going to look crappy. Oh, and also, let me know. Please, please, please let me know. Uh, should I worry about Bob's tank first or fixing up this one? And sorry, the light's off. but um, I mean, I, I got 50 bucks for like, yard work and stuff yesterday. Uh, minus 7 for the Malefix, but whatever. So, like, 42 bucks... No, 43. Haven't been to school. <laughs> you know, I, school starts in a week. I need to learn a little bit more. I need to finish reading my summer reading. But anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I really don't want to overstock the tanks. Oh, and uh, please, please let me know. Should I work on this tank first or Bob's tank? I mean, 42 bucks... You know, it's kind of close to what Bob's tank would cost or whatever. Kind of close. Um, but I don't want, what I want, don't want to happen is I don't want to get a lot of money for Bob's tank and, and actually spend the money on the tank, but not have enough money for any more fish in the tank. Um, you know, I kind of want to get a lot of it at once in a way. Uh, so... I really, really want to get Bob's tank. Uh, oh my 
god, this is such a thing. I, I, I think what I'm gonna end up doing first is getting Bob a tank. Uh, you know, uh, what a good idea is, is I might um, save up and save up and save up, not spend any money, and then I'll maybe have like a hundred, a hundred bucks or a hundred ten by the time um, Thanksgiving comes around and what's the day? Black Friday? And maybe on Black Friday I'll get a good deal on a good tank for Bob, uh, or some kind of, you know, tank or, uh, you know, I might, I might snag a good deal, um, or even a good deal on some other stuff. I don't know, but, uh, I really wanted to do that this year because I know what's going to happen is I always spend my money, uh, I thought I would save and save and save, and then eventually just spend it all, all at once on Black Friday. Uh, I mean, you know, the tank could be 40 bucks off, uh, that would be great, you know, or I could find a different tank that has an amazing deal that I just can't pass up. Um, and it does all depend on my mom again, what she wants. Uh, can't really do, you know, a 20 gallon. I'd love to just bring my 20 gallon in and just plop it right there. Uh, oh, and also tell me if this thing would be sturdy enough. Uh, it's pretty pretty sturdy it won't it won't really budge it's really thick wood it's real wood it's not like how that fake like fiber wood kind of stuff is uh i think it's strong enough to hold uh up to maybe a 20 gallon but i don't know i don't want to risk things either um but i don't think anything will happen i mean some people have 55 gallons on dressers like these so i mean i'll, I'll probably just use this dresser i, I really i can't I really don't have an option, to be honest. Uh, even if you guys say it's not sturdy enough, uh, I, I don't have an option. Uh, I, I can't do anything about it. Um, but anyway, this video is getting kind of long and squeaky for. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I really want lots of panda quarries because they are just really energetic. And I'm hoping I can just have so many that they would just breed on their own all the time. Uh, I just I just want them purely because they look amazing. Because they're so energetic. Uh, I would have gotten quarries for this tank anyway. Um, I was debating on whether just to get a quarry, just one quarry for this tank here. Oh, and I might have some auto catfish in the other tank. Too. In the new tank. Um... I have so many different kinds of plans that I want. Oh my god, plans, plans, plans. Uh, I'm hoping to have it kind of like a, like sand with some rocks sticking out. Uh, mostly a hardscape. I don't want to have too many plants in there just because I don't want it to crowd the bottom just because I'm going to have so many quarries in there. Um, no carpeting plant. Might have some Ludwigia. But yeah, um... And again, hopefully uh, the quarries will breed, because I really want baby quarries. I mean, quarry catfish, one of my favorite fish, definitely. Uh, a fish that could breed in a community tank. You just take out the eggs with, like, a razor blade. Oh, and by the way, it is, it is a, a, an acrylic tank, uh, the 18-gallon, which I don't like, but yet the, the dimensions are good. Uh, and I think that, that's probably the biggest tank I'm going to end up getting. Uh... This video is really long. I'm just going to end it. Uh, but that, that's just, you know, a handful of what I might do. Um, so, I think I'm, I'm going to end up not buying anything, you know, anything that's totally unnecessary for a long time. And then eventually snag a deal um, off Black Friday. Uh, I know they, they even have Labor Day sales, but I, I can't buy anything now. I don't have the money physically. I mean, I did, I earned it yesterday, but I didn't physically have it yet. Uh, I, I get it September 14th, oops, see. because uh, my dad works at um, a school, so until he gets his paycheck, we're kind of low on money, because, um, you know, my dad's a teacher, uh, my mom has a job, but yet, you know, not, you know, we just... Yeah, so my dad's teacher, he doesn't get a paycheck all summer, so in August, we don't, 
you know, they can't really pay me 50 bucks out of nowhere. <laughs> so, yep, until September, uh, I can't really get any the money. Uh, so, I, I'm going to calculate that, actually, after this video, how much money I, I would get by, back, by Black Friday, getting 10 bucks a week off George off chores starting in September yeah I'm gonna calculate that <laughs> plus forty two dollars and uh... <clears throat> I mean we're up we're up north uh... with um... my grandmother's house and my aunt and uncle uh... they they live up there in in uh, north jersey so we'll be up there during black friday but that doesn't mean we can drive down to the pet smart black friday morning uh... which really Black Friday is not Walmart, okay, not Target, uh, not Toys R Us, so Black Friday, you know, I mean, PetSmart really, I don't think it'll be packed, I mean, I'm definitely gonna go in the morning just in case, um, but at the same time, my mom and my, uh, my grandma, which I call her nanny, so, I'm just gonna call her nanny, don't be bothered, <laughs> But uh, my gr my uh, my nanny and my mom, they go out in the morning. I don't think they'll spend time taking me there and taking me to PetSmart in the morning. So they might not even be there. Oh, and also, um, it'll probably be a Cyber Monday actually because it's an online only. I forgot to mention. Uh, or I'll go to Petco, or uh, even maybe like a local fish store. Um, because honestly, I don't think PetSmart would be packed on Black Friday. I mean, there aren't a lot of, uh, or even maybe maybe for dog stuff, but for like dog stuff and cat stuff, maybe even bird stuff. But there aren't a lot of fish enthusiasts out there. Uh, I mean, really, it's it's uh, it's a small world. But what is it? yeah, there aren't many fish fish enthusiasts out there, so I don't think it'll be like packed like. As Walmart is, uh, you know how Walmart on Black Friday they always have those news broadcasters or whatever, and news of people getting trampled and stuff because really everyone's so competitive on Black Friday. Uh, you know, even some people bring knives and stuff to attack people for for deals. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Uh huh. Like, you know, you see that on the news. And this video is getting long. I'm just gonna let it get long because I don't really care. Uh, I took a 50 minute video yesterday. I just got lost. I didn't even realize I was taking video anymore. I was just talking and talking and talking. Different subject after different subject. So I'm just going to end it here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, and uh, happy fish keeping.